Welcome back guys! Good morning! How are you doing? I'm finally back in my natural habitats as you can see my little room. I hope you liked the last video of makeups and stuffs because that's like not my traditional YouTube content but I'm trying to mix it up. I hope you like it. Today I'm talking about... I'm gonna be yeah back and forth talking about how I started tattooing and uh, what I do to practice my tattooing and what you need to start practicing tattooing. Something like that. Got all my stuffs here. Wait a second. Ta da! Well, of course, a normal tattoo artist has 10 times more equipment than I do, but this is, uh, this is enough to get you started, I think. A little bit inside of how I started doing this because I know you've seen the past of my videos and in the past of my videos I've been telling that this is my dream job and I would want to do it someday and I don't know how and I don't have the money for everything and stuff and stuff but you know good thoughts manifest I'm really trying to put myself on a positive mind note these days so I'm just reminding them myself that good thoughts manifest and here it manifested! I've been tattooing for practicing tattooing for uh, almost a year I think I think I started last autumn or winter something like that but um, yeah so this is this is the jam and sorry if I'm gonna be like calling things weird names because for some of the things I really don't know the name in English I'm sorry but yeah, I wouldn't have started tattooing if I didn't have the help of my tattooer friends and my ultimate friend and my mentor, Emil. He's amazing and like, I don't know, it like, like dropped from above and I suddenly was at his studio trying to practice my first lines with a tattoo machine on synthetic skin. Actually, I'm in a very good place of starting to practice tattooing because like back in the day, all the badass tattooers now had to start from nothing, had to start from scratch, had to, had to build their own tattoo machines, had didn't really have anything to practice on, so they started practicing on their friends. So uh, I'm very lucky actually that I have this um, opportunity of also of having a mentor. I kind of forgot how it just suddenly happened. I was just like one day, I was like, that's it. I want to start tattooing. So I met up with Emils. He started telling me everything I need to buy to start tattooing. And uh, he was so generous on not making me buy a, a tattoo machine right away. And uh, like he gave a tattoo machine that's his and I still have it. And I'm still like pitching forward that I'm gonna buy my own tattoo machine. Of course, I'm gonna have to give his tattoo machine back to him. Uh, but still, yeah, he gave me a tattoo machine. He gave me uh, some stuff so I can start to start tattooing. But there were these little things that I had to buy myself. Uh, I bought my power supply and um, and uh, other little things I'm gonna show you. Just gonna start off by what I have and of course here and there I'm gonna show you clips of uh, me practicing the tattooing thing. But yeah, let's just get into it. The first thing I'm holding in my hands are latex gloves. Of course you need gloves, I mean, duh. Uh, you're not gonna be tattooing with your bare hands, not even when you're practicing. Uh, because when you're practicing you don't really need to be that all damn sterile because you're not tattooing a person But it's good to practice that green soap. I have it wrapped in uh, If it's called saran wrap, I forgot but this This wrap uh, because I was uh, Let's say traveling around with it. Boom a huge bucket of Vaseline in the tattoo shop this huge bucket of Vaseline was much more cheaper than buying like the small Vaseline uh, containers. So it's just clear, pure Vaseline, yo. I'm sorry for the dirty bucket because I've been touching it with my dirty gloves. So you need that. Stencil paper so you can draw things and put stencils on to your synthetic skin. Here comes a nice box. I, I'm, I really already know that I need a bigger box because uh, some stuff is just not fitting in here like the saran wrap is not already not fitting inside of my box because it did and used to but now it's even it doesn't have any space there left what we have here uh, it's a little bit a mess oh here's the little cap thing that I put inside of this and then I can spray the green soap right now I am tattooing with dynamic black ink because I'm just practicing I'm not really I don't really need colors right now it's a big bottle uh, so I have a lot to use and there's I love that there's this little 
um, ball inside so you can shake up the ink. Yeah, I have a lot of this, um, I don't know what's it, what it's called, but like medical green wrap things. But when I'm setting up the table, I'm putting saran wrap and then I put this uh, where I put my needles, but where I put the stuffs, you know? So if, even if it's, if even if something spills on this, it doesn't stain through because I have this, the saran wrap under it, yeah? Okay, a must have is tape. Tape! Uh, because you're gonna be taping a lot of things. Scissors, you're gonna need those. A bunch of needles, um, different sizes, different thickness, different everything. Ink caps. I have these, I don't know, what are they, like medium ink caps? They're not too huge, they're not too small, they're just the perfect amount because there are different sizes of ink caps too. Stencil stuff. Um, it's actually called stencil stuff. It is that liquid which you put on the surface where you want to press the stencil on. Uh, so, for example, I made a stencil and then I want to put it on the synthetic skin, so I just put a little blob of that, smear it out, maybe let it dry a little bit. It depends on how much I put it. If it's a lot, the stencil is gonna just slide away. Uh, it's not gonna, it, I don't think it happens on human skin, but on the, on the synthetic skin, it's not like a human skin that has pores and can soak stuff in, so it just... If you have too much stencil software on the synthetic skin, it's just gonna make you put your stencil on, it's gonna slide away and then it's gonna just smear everything. Grips. I have these steel grips um, because if I would be a professional tattoo artist, I would, I would probably have disposable grips because cleaning these is a nightmare because you have to not only clean it from the ink splashes and everything you also have to sterilize it and obviously i don't have that sterilizing fancy machine i just have all different kinds of sprays one for the shader one for the liner but i'm just using one right now because i'm doing the lines here comes the grand thing is my machines i have three right now two of them are emuls and one is just something i got a while ago from a girl that was not really tattooing but she had a tattoo machine and it's obviously some 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 kind of a chinese tattoo machine that is not really doing anything but i have it here is the shader which is uh emil's shader and it is actually very pretty i like how it has these um Japanese drawings on the coil thing. So these both are, both of them are coil machines. Uh, I hope I will try a rotary one soon because I think they're lighter and they're faster and quieter because this one's really loud, but that's what tattoo machines do. That's the machines, cable cords. I think they're called cable cords. Yeah, I have two because one of them is somewhat broken and is not really giving off a lot of speed, let's say that. Yeah, the most of the stuff I buy is from Killer Ink. The other stuffs that I can buy here in Latvia are from Baltic Body Art Shop, if I remember the name right. So that's it, what's in my box. I probably have other things that I could show you, but it's not really necessary. Um, so yeah, uh, how I start to tattoo is just like I set up a little bit of a layout and then I draw a stencil. Actually, it's for me, it's a whole ritual when I want to start tattooing. I have to think at least one day in advance. It's, I don't know if others do this, but I have, I have to do this because I live in a, such a small flat, I have to take at least a half an hour to set up because I have, I don't really have a normal table. I have a table there, but that's where my boyfriend sits all the time and I usually just, put everything on this little black table and then I take out a little chair on which I sit and tattoo. So I sit and tattoo in my bed. Yes, very unprofessional, but I've tattooed at the tattoo studio with Emil's as well. So yeah, but the most of the times I just do it here. Of course, when I would be tattooing people, I wouldn't be like um, doing it at home in a... Um, well, no, home tattooing is fine as long as it's clean and sterile and professional, you know? Uh, but I wouldn't be doing it like here. I would have to have a normal place with a normal table with a normal chair and everything. Uh, but yeah, so I just do it here and why I have to do it like, why I have to like think about it one day in advance is because I have to put the stencil. So I have to draw the stencil, then I have to put it on the skin and I like to just um, put it on the skin and kind of put it in places like it so it fits like a puzzle and I fill up the whole space. Of this of the synthetic skin and uh, since I said as I said since synthetic skin is not real skin it doesn't soak up 
things that fast so also the stencil is very wet for a couple of hours so it if, if you would start tattooing it would wipe off so i have to wait until it kind of stains the synthetic skin and even later when it stains the skin uh, when i'm tattooing it kind of comes off but if i tattoo and there i don't know are bits of, of the stencil left it's just gonna stay there because it's stained inside of the skin it's not gonna go away and i'm i, I know i'm gonna like uh, expand my not only knowledge of tattooing but also my uh equipment of course this is just this is enough to start off tattooing and for the people who want to do that please don't order those like ready kits on ebay i mean okay do what you want but it's not something i would recommend at all yeah i don't know what else i could say to you um great this is great actually wow um yeah i think this is it for this video there are probably so much more things i could talk about and you can leave your questions and comments in the comment section i will try to uh answer them or if there are gonna be a lot of questions i'm gonna make another video about it uh we'll see oh by the way the contest for inked magazine is still going on so please go to the link in the description i really need your help guys because i'm this close actually i'm 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 shocked that i got this far but i'm this close so your help means everything to me i'm i'm not even kidding so that's that but yeah this is the end of the video i really hope you liked it and i will see you soon in my next video bye